Hey everybody, it's Carlos and Sandy Lee. This is season six of Off Your Flosser podcast. So warm up those chuckle muscles, guys, because uh, we're about to give them a workout. This is episode... 213. 213. That kind of sounds like an area code. Where, where's the area code? Where is that the area code to? 212 is New York. Yeah? What about 555? Bro, it's uh, L.A. Oh. Specifically the downtown portion of the city of Los Angeles and surrounding cities and communities. Mm. Beverly Hills. Glendale. Yeah. That makes Lincoln sense. Park, Inglewood. 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 <laughs> Up to no good. You know? Yep. Wow, Downtown you're a rap Snoop. star. Rap star, rap star. No, that's Eminem song. Uh Rap God, rap, rap God. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good song, though. Um, yeah, so 213 LA area code. And yeah. And what else were, were we talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Already off track, folks. Yes. Already off track. Um, the lighting, I don't know if it's the lighting or my stupid face, uh, but I think I'm looking more and more like a Sharpay lately. I don't know what the hell's going on. <sighs> I if I, I had to a, pick a dog. Dude, seriously, like, what is that? Look at my forehead. Yeah. I look like I should sit on someone's lap and speak Chinese. Is what it looked like. It is a Chinese breed. Um that's the for the people that don't know, that's the very wrinkly dog. Yeah. I wonder who doesn't know that though. What's the purpose of a very wrinkly dog? Like catch pollen it, and irritate everyone? Get allergies? I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think that would be cat. a pain in the ass to clean, though. You know what I mean? You'd have to really love that dog. You, yeah, you gotta like play with the folds and everything. Who's got time for folds? A- <laughs> I was just gonna say something inappropriate, but <laughs> <laughs> about me and my folds. But hey, anyway, let's let's move on before <laughs> this Sunday. takes a very it's, 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 very uh... sad turn. Um. So I'm going to meet my friend Jess here in a little bit. We're going to go watch the new Hunger Games movie. Oh, I keep hearing good things about that, that I'm not going to ever go see. So uh, let me know how it turns out. I I will. I will. Um, I didn't even know it existed uh, for some reason. Um, I'm not like a a Hunger fan. Like, oh, I I saw. I mean, I did see all the movies. Oh, gosh. Okay. I'm I'm not a fan (laughs) of Hunger either. But sometimes... Can't hunger ain't, four hours. You know hunger I mean? ain't no game, you know. Shit is if serious. I'm hungry, we're having serious problems. So we'll go have lunch and then um and then go watch Hunger Games and then uh it's two hours and forty five minutes long. Yeah, you're gonna be hungry coming out of there. I what's the purpose of having a movie that long? What are some other movies that are that long? Lord of the Rings. I'll say this. If they're based on really, really, really good books that yeah. are thousands of pages long, like the Bible. Uh, I bought the extended version of the, because I'm a nerd, um, of the Lord of the Rings back when it came out on Blu-ray, right? Yes. And I want to say that all together it was about 13 hours worth of movie. In over three movies. That was the extended director's cut. Okay. And so they had extra scenes in there and extra... Dude, you know how long it took me? I think I did it over like a Christmas weekend. I mean, it took me like three right. or four days to finish it all. I mean, it was That's dedication. But it was cool, though. Because I think it was an ice storm or something, so I couldn't leave the house anyway. Right. But I'd bang out, you know, four or five hours a day <laughs> watching this. It took forever, yeah. though. So what's, uh, well, how long is Saving Private Ryan? I don't know, but that's got some, that's got some time on it, too. Let's that's... See. That's a really good movie, and I don't feel like you feel like you're sitting there for three hours. There was one movie, uh, I forget, it was sort of recent, I feel like, and I was like, this is definitely three hours long. Two hours, 49 minutes for um, Saving Private Run. Mm. You this know what movie probably... was long that I didn't think was long when the first time I watched it? I was sitting there in amazement the whole time. Yeah. Avatar, the first one. Yeah. Agreed. I was like, 
oh my god like the coloring you know what i mean i, I had unfortunately i sat super close so it was like all encompassing but i, I felt like i was mm-hmm. in the movie sort of and uh yeah that was long shit and uh i was like oh my god that, that's it you know, it was it was really really good mm. the first time i saw it and uh, that's how i remember it. it might suck i really I enjoyed know. that movie too yeah i think you for the second one though the underwater people and all that yeah it it was not as good for sure um yeah, so I'll I'll let you know how how the movie is, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I don't feel like I'm sitting there for three hours. I'll, I'll say this: I work with an Uber um, hunger nerd, and uh, I think she would probably say that that's fair. That's a fair uh, assessment. Um, and she and a bunch of friends went to go see it. She goes, "If you're a fan of the series, you're not going to be disappointed, but it's not as good as the book, which is never is." But right. It's supposed to be really, really good. So, yeah, that's, that's why I always watch the movie first. That's a like if hand uh, <laughs> report. So, good luck. Yeah, I watch the movie. If if well, it's kind of backwards. So if I if I like the movie, I'll watch or I'll read the book. But um, yeah, I try to do it backwards. That way, I'm not disappointed. You know, so I loved the movie, and now the book is even better. You know what I mean? Right. But um, if I accidentally read it first, then yeah, the movie's not going to be as good. So. I see what you're saying. I yeah. think the book would add to it if you like the movie. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. It it's just going to be a better story Richer and everything. Details yeah, and stuff. You know, a movie didn't make sense to the books. The ones with Tom Cruise, Jack Reacher. Now I like Tom Cruise. I think he's a great actor. Yeah, he's a little weird, but that's okay. That's his problem, not mine. <laughs> right. Um, but. I, that, the Mission Impossible movies, the Top Gun movie, that last one, Maverick. That, I mean, it, they're all you know fantastic. Yeah. Um, the Last Samurai, even though it's a far fetched concept of a white dude mm-hmm. going to Japan and killing everybody with a sword and you know learning it over a winter, I whatever it's Hollywood, right? Right. But I really enjoyed the uh, the cinematography, the, the the emotion of that movie. Anyway, the point is. Uh, yeah, he yeah. did Jack Reacher, and Jack Reacher looks like the Jack Reacher on the Netflix or John Krasinski. Not bigger than that guy. I forget. I don't know who the guy is. You, you, you've seen the Jack Reacher oh. right? on Netflix? Yeah, is it Netflix? yeah. Who's who? Who plays him? I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was John Krasinski, but I'm not now. I'm thinking I'm wrong. That's the guy from The Office. Yeah. But he, oh, he he started working out. Yeah, he did like the <laughs> army movie. Alan Alan Richson. Mm, I don't yeah, know. Uh, yeah, that, the army movie is uh, thirteen hours. Yes, that was good. Mm, that was, he was really a badass good. in that movie. Yeah. Yes. No, but this anyway. guy Alan Richson looks like the character in the book, not Tom Cruise. What What does he look like in the book? How do you? Uh, well, they describe him as a six foot something and built like yeah. a football player. Oh, and Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise is tiny. Yeah. Yeah. You lost me at six foot plus. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Tom Cruise. How I'm tall not, is again, he? Five eight? Tom Cruise? Yeah. Maybe officially, but you know, people say he's closer to five six, man. Mm, I don't know why I know that. But who cares? But they say he really can run fast. Tom Cruise? Yeah. Yeah, full speed for like does 30 that seconds of the movie. And, I mean, yeah. it's very cinematic. You know, it, it looks mm. cool on film. But he's, I he's do like his movies. And it's I over. do like his yeah. Mission Impossible movies. Yeah, they're all fantastic, man. All and he does, he does a lot of his own stunts, too. Oh, yeah, too. he's a psychopath. Yeah, the dude's crazy. The one where he hung on the outside of the airplane? What are you, out of your mind? Yeah. And he was cabled in. But what if that cable fails, bro? It's a wrap. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, you're hanging on the outside of a plane while it's flying around. You got to be out of your mind, you know? right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hanging on the outside of that skyscraper in Dubai. Yeah, crazy. with this bloop 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 bloop. Yeah, with little bloop, Spider-Man bloop, bloop. suction cup things. <laughs> nah, man, I'm good. Dude. Yeah. Hey, I had uh, to work yesterday. Oh, hey, we're gonna stop talking about movies and get into something else. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we do. Nice no, segue. We, okay. <laughs> hey, check it out. Look, Hollywood. Mm. Oh, I'm getting ready. Look at that. Oh man, that looks good. Right. Real quick, while we're talking about it, Smile Direct Club went kaput. Did not you see surprising. that? I did not see that. 
not not surprising. However, they are literally screwing all the people that are in the middle of treatment and that have just signed the contract because they still have to pay. Really? Yeah. A contract is a contract, I guess, right? Unless it's coming from... But, but how is it a contract? Because you're paying for a service that you're not going to get. And if you're not there, what are we doing? Exactly. That's my thought. And and here's the thing, like... That's horrible. Because I was reading the article and it says people that have signed up for the Smile Pay program or whatever still have to finish out their payments. But I'm wondering if it's just the people that have gotten their final product or whatever. Because... If I'm going to sign a contract, then I'm going to get what I'm paying right. for, or be, else the contract's broken. In it's my be opinion, you know. On both ends. I pay that's you, what you that's what I would my think. Trace, you know what I mean? Yes, but there's people saying that they just signed the uh, paperwork, not going to get their aligners, and they still have to pay. I don't know how true that is, and everybody's saying class action lawsuit. But here's yeah. the thing: if they're filing bankruptcy, where are you going to get money? Yeah. I'm sure it's so, protected several layers down. You're never going to find the guy who owns it. You know what I mean? Well, it's owned by Invisalign. Mm-hmm. That was a bad idea, I think. Self-directed teeth movement. That's, that's, why don't they sell your own appendix kit? You know what I mean? Hey, rip your own appendix out. Like you got a burst of ki- uh, appendix just you know, three to four days later on Amazon, you get your kit. Just you know, you might want to have nine one one on standby. Just oh just God. a suggestion. That's uh, I don't know. Well, that's that's disappointing. Uh, but not me, man. I have a team of uh, legit human professionals that I I yes. see visually, and I can reach out and and call if I need it if I have a problem. Yes. And uh, and and for anybody who's not dental, listen to this. Yeah, go see a real orthodontist. Don't don't play around. You know what I mean? You you absolutely get what you pay for. So Invisalign um, is done through an orthodontist office. Smile Direct Club was, uh, they said it was developed, I don't know, like I, I haven't really looked into it or anything, but they said it was developed so they can reach a different demographic that maybe can't get to the orthodontist, doesn't have an orthodontist near them, or can't afford to pay or something like that. But... I've heard all the horror stories where, you know, people can't bite down anymore because their teeth are so Mm -mm. jacked. And here's the thing. We all know if you have periodontal issues and you throw ortho on top of it, you might as well just save up for dentures too. Yeah. I mean, that's just, that's, that's, that's bad news all the way around, man. Um, That's that's disappointing. that's, That's why you should always, have everything done under the direction of a dentist or a professional. There's the PSA for there today. You need, your, need, your, need that warning, folks. Yeah. Um, I had a crazy couple of weeks, man. I read your post and I couldn't wait to record. So what? We know that you got sideswiped. Do we? Did we talk about that last time? I feel like we did, but let's d- do a recap and then okay. an update. I think that would be great. I, look, look, I, I got to pull up the calendar because this is so crazy. I can't even. It was November 27th, I believe. Okay. Why Why do I know that? Yeah, because I told you, but I don't know if we, t- we recorded. When did we record? I think we recorded the 28th. Okay. Well, all right. Yeah, well, maybe we it was the 20. Right. Yeah, the 20. No, the 26th. Okay, yeah, so we kind of talked about it on the podcast. Ah, the point is, spoiler I'm alert: off, I'm going to work. I get <laughs> yes. off the interstate, all right. Make a left, and there's there's five lanes you can go into. Right, right. The far three, right, center, and left, are going straight. Yes. Right. The far left, you know, four and five, if if you want to call them that, are making sure. a left back onto the highway. You know what I'm saying? So you have to get over so you can go straight. I got to get over so I can go left. I go in the left of the straight lanes, if that makes sense. Yes, you're going You're going in the last of the straight lanes, but you're right now, at this moment, you're in the turn lane, and you have to get into the straight lane. Right. So okay. I make the turn. I stop. I'm then, and I go to put, I put my blinker on. I sent you the video. I have a dash cam, by the way. Yep, right? I saw it. <laughs> I put the blinker on. <laughs> yep. 
look. I got the little sensor thing that pops up if somebody's in my blind spot. Nothing yep. there. I yep. slowly start to get over. I'm almost all the way in the lane, and some guy in a in a red, same color burgundy uh, Camry comes across, and he swi- side swipes my whole front right fender. Yep. And keeps going. And I'm not proud of this, but I kind of lose it for about you did. a little seconds. bit. I would have too. I would have too. Like, anyway, yeah, go I, ahead. it was just like surprise and like instant, like like somebody poured a through a match on a on a. On a <laughs> The gasoline spell, right? Oof. I was like, what? Yeah. The? You can anyway, feel so it like lose welling it up bit. in you. You well, know what you should do? Game. Can you stitch in the dash cam video? Like in the middle of the yeah. on the podcast? Why yeah, don't you yeah. do that? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take the and, audio off though. Yeah, leave the audio out. But people mm-hmm. can see for themselves. Well, sure. I would I would put on here uh, Blinker is on or something like that. Just, yeah, yeah. just kind of narrate it a little bit. And um, yeah, I can I can totally do that. And um, so <laughs> I remember being at a light behind the guy and I'm flashing. I'm like, hey, buddy, just just, just pull over. I'm like pointing, pull over. And he gives me a, mm, what are you going to do? Kind of shrug thing. the like, shoulders hey. like, yeah, I'm like, no, you got you to pull over. And he just keeps going. Right. And I'm, and, I, and I'm like, are you serious? And then at one point I hear myself on the dash cam. <laughs> He puts his left blinker on. He comes over. I'm like, oh, now you're using the blinker? Now we're using blink-? And I'm losing my shit, right? <laughs> and I was like, you know what? And I yell his license plate number into the dash cam so I can have it on recording, right? Good. I save the file separate because there's a button, like a panic button. You hit it. It puts in a separate file so you can find it, right? Yeah. And um, dash cams, dude, if you don't have one, you got to mm. get one. I mean, there's, there's no, it yeah. protects you. This thing has GPS. It tells you your speed. So, like, if, let's say you have a car and it looks like somebody else's car and you get pulled over for speeding, you're like, it wasn't me. And they're like, well, I got you. So, but I got it on GPS. Yeah, I was only doing 46. You're saying I was doing 60. Not the guy. You know what I mean? And, not and me, man. You Save your points, tickets, you know, the whole shebang. Anyway, um, I, I go to work. We pass me office. I pull over, call the cops. They come out, do a report, look at the damage. Blah, yeah. Blah, blah. But you'll probably like in general, the sometimes you'll never catch the guy. Like if it was a stolen license plate or, you know, right. uh, something like that. Or if so and so was driving somebody else's car, it's a whole rigmarole. That's right. what happened to my sister. Um, OK, so right. there you go. So I, I, at some point, I pull up next to the guy and I look at him and he's refusing to, to make a look right to me. Right. And from where I can see, it looked like an older either Spanish gentleman maybe Indian guy. You know what I'm saying? He had kind of like an ethnic yeah. look to him. And again, I'm not, it's not racist. I'm just, just painting a picture. Are you racial right? profiling? <laughs> I didn't know who it was. I just I had to see his face. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm-hmm. I go to work, call the cops. They do the report. I called this Monday. Mm-hmm. Nothing. They haven't found a the guy. They haven't even looked for him. They haven't, you know, nothing. And I'm like, man, so I'm a little That's disappointed. It's aggravating. And maybe it's just impatience on my part, you know? But nothing's eh. nothing's moving, right? Well, it Tuesday was the holiday morning, weekend too, so I'm coming off the same exit. Tuesday before, morning. Tuesday morning. As soon as I hit the exit, I go, God, please! I just want to see this guy one more time, right? Did same you day. get your prayers answered? Oh, I can't even believe it! It was like a gift from from heaven. Did the I clouds come, open up and go? Ah. That's what it felt like. I swear to God, like. I, I, I turned get... now. So now oh, there was man. room. So there weren't enough cars. So I scooch over to the far right because that's where I got to go to get off, right? To go to work. Who's in front okay. of me at the light? Is it him? It's your boy, right? Stop. And I'm looking and I'm like, that looks like the same Ugh. car. And then I go, no. Oh, my God. And I read the number 3521. And I'm like, <gasps> it's that's... him. Oh, my. And I'm like, it's on now. It's on like mm. Donkey Kong, son. Yes. So. I think at some point he realizes I'm behind him. He tries to start speeding, right? So oh. I, I panic. I'm like, I'm not going to work, dude. I call my manager, right? Mm-hmm. And my poor manager is her name is Angela, right? <laughs> <laughs> she thinks I'm a little crazy anyway, right? <laughs> what? No. She thinks I'm a little off, right? She's like, you, you say things to patients, and I'm like, yeah, but they love it though. I said to a patient <laughs> one time we were ch- 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 chatting in the back, and I go, listen, you know. Get this crown this year. Get the second one done next year. That way you can maximize your bennies, and then boom, you, you you're less out of pocket. So they have a like a, a communication board, like a whiteboard, and they wrote maximize your bennies, 
Carlos, right? And yes. I'm like, they're like, you can't talk to patients like that. I'm like, that's the rapport that we have. Sure, I can. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, so it's simple stuff like that because I, you know, I use sl- slang, but yeah. Yeah. And the point is, I'm I'm a very approachable hygienist, and um, so I call her and I go, hey, remember the guy who hit me last week? She's like, yeah. She's like, calm, right? You okay? I'm like, yeah. Like I'm I'm following him right now. And, oh my! Oh my god! And I don't know where this is going, but I can't let him go. She goes, but I may just end up in jail. I don't know. And that's what she was worried. She's like, well, for the record, <laughs> I don't think you should do it. <laughs> Duly noted. But well, here I go. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm not going to heed that warning, but thank you. Right? And it yeah. And she's like. I wouldn't pull over if some maniac was telling me to pull over. <laughs> and I'm like, true, but he knows what he did. You know what I mean? Yes. And I can't let it go. I let him slide the first time, and I, I am not getting the satisfaction. If I don't do it now, I'm, 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 I won't be able to live with myself, right? Yes. And she's like, okay, be careful. <laughs> and she's like, guys, get ready to start calling our patients because he's probably going to get arrested, right? So we're following <laughs> the guy, right? At some point, I flash him, and he realizes it's me. Right, and you like in the movies where they do the we're coming up on a yellow light, and he starts slowing down. He starts slowing down, and then yep. as soon as he turns red, he runs and through he it, guns it to try to get me to stay, get stuck. Nah, I was I was on his. Nah, I don't want to say on his bumper. That's not accurate, but we were we're both going through the red light. You know, everybody's yeah. getting tickets today, son. Everybody's going down. <laughs> we're going. Right? We're all going down. So I called nine one one. I gotta send you. The, I gotta send you the link. I made a little video of it. I can't even put it publicly because it's so ridiculous. But me calling that conversation with Angela, right? And then me calling yeah. the 911 operator. And at one point, I'm like, she was like, so you're following him now? I'm like, yeah. Um, we're going down. I go, we're not speeding. I'm not going to hit his car. I'm not I'm not going to hurt him at all. I'm not Chuck but Norris. I'm just saying. You're going to find out where he is. That That's for sure. And at one point, I go, this is just a stupid problem to have. you know. And, and I'm talking to the operator like like she's a buddy. You know what I mean? And yeah. So they're, yeah. I'm giving him location updates. Make a long story short, we pull into his office, right? He gets out of the car. He's an older Asian guy and not fantastic with the English, right? Okay. And and, and, and I don't I don't want to approach this guy because he I've been following him for the last 25 minutes, right? Right. And he might think I'm dangerous. Plus, I don't know what he's capable of. You yeah. Know? He's a Could little have been guy. Jackie but Chan. You ever seen uh, you know, karate kid? You know what I'm saying? Mr. Miyagi's right, right. Unimposing, but he'll twist your arms off and kick you in the mm. face, you know? And yes. I don't need this in my life, right? Stereotype, maybe. But what you have seen nowadays, you don't know who's who's trained and who's not, you know? And right. I don't want to hurt right. the guy. I just need to get my car fixed. That's all I care about, right? Agreed. So I look up, and the cops are right behind me. Two police cars with blue lights. And I'm like, oh, my God, what the timing was impeccable, you know? I'm mm-hmm. like, are they close? Mm-hmm. I'm, pretty, I, I'm getting a feeling we're close to the guy's office, and as soon as we turn, they're right there, right? Nice. And uh, I guess they figured when they stop, it's going to be a problem, so we got to get there quick, right? What kind of office was it? It was like a like a blue collar construction window place or something like that. You know, like yeah, storm windows or something. I, you know, n- okay. n- nothing high tech, okay. but it was like I was just know, curious. A, a shop. It was like a shop, you know. Yeah. And um, he gets out of the car and. The cops were like, hey, did you hit this guy's car last week? And I was in the vehicle that he hit. Not, I wasn't on the bike. So the girls at work thought I was on the scooter. Right? Oh, yeah. Which would have been hilarious. But, you know what I mean? Just, yeah. just chasing this guy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so they, they talked to him. They get his insurance information. They get my driver's license. You know, they're going through the whole rigmarole. So then the cop says, we well, can't go in. You got to stay out here. Um, Gwinnett County's got to come out. So we were in Lawrenceville. These were Lawrenceville cops because it happened in a different part of the county. So that's what I thought. Uh, and evidently they saw something they didn't like. And when the other cop shows up, they have this guy turn around, put his hands behind his back, and they put the handcuffs on him. Oh. And they arrested him, dude. And I kind of felt a little bad about it, you know? Because I didn't want to see the guy get arrested. But, but it was but for something else, right? Not know. the. I, I don't know. I don't know. So... I don't really know what's going on. So I gave him a few days to get everything. And they wanted me to upload the video and the, and the screenshots of his driver's license number. He goes, did you pull up to him and see who it was? I was like, yeah, same guy, short little dude with a hat. And he had like a knit hat rolled up, same outfit, same time, same everything. You know? Yeah. 
And they asked him, so you the only one that drives your car? Who else drives your car? He's like, no, just me. And I'm like, that, that's a, it's a wrap right there. there you, you know go. what I mean? And um, plus the video evidence. I mean, it, it, it was him. There's, there's no doubt. But right, yeah, right, I felt, right. I felt kind of bad. I wasn't happy that he got arrested. You know what I'm saying? I, I yeah. Just, I, I needed him to get a couple tickets just to prove my case, just so I can get my car fixed. But right. this all could have been prevented had he just pulled over that day. I mean, you know you right. hit me, man. Come on, dude. You know what I'm saying? That's That's all I'm saying. So... Right, you know, self inflicted for sure. So I, he you know, I, he I made posted, a decision, and now yeah. he's got to pay the consequences for it. It's not your fault. So I posted something on Facebook, and some lady yeah. kind of got got was was like mad at me. She's like, you know, everybody. I can't believe everybody's excited that this guy got got arrested. I'm like, how often do, do you ever get justice for things that happen, inconveniences? Yeah. You know things like that happen. This type, this type of stuff happens to everybody. Hit and runs, or you wake up and your 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 front, your back ends all chewed up because somebody hit it and and left it in the middle of the night. You you never yeah. gonna get satisfaction. Yeah. Another one time, you, you're gonna just rain on my parade because some some poor guy got arrested. It's not my fault. I didn't. You know what I mean? I didn't arrest him. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's I, not I, like he ran a red light and got mauled by a tractor trailer or something. That that I can see. Like, don't celebrate that. No. But the dude's paying for his his crimes, basically. It's gonna be fun. And you don't know if there was something else going on. Maybe That's he had outstanding saying. warrants or That's something like saying. that. Yeah. So yeah. that lady can go get hosed. She's going to be the type that she's going to say that until somebody burglarizes her home and gets hurt on her property and sues her home insurance. She goes, and you post it. And I, I delete it because it's just kind of negative. And I'm like, if you don't like it, just don't say anything. You know what I mean? That's what I do. I disagree with shit all the time. Yeah. You don't see me picking fights with people. I haven't talked to this lady in like seven or eight years. I mean, she used to do stand up. The point is, she's like, Yeah, you act like you, you, you stopped a uh, uh, an active Mm-mm. shooter. I'm like, Dude, I, I never said that. I said, Unfortunately, the guy got arrested, but this situation had to come to a conclusion. And that, but you and that took was the it. post down? I would, mm, I would just let it roll. Because, really? I mean, she's the one that's going to look dumb. Yeah, I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to deal with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, yeah, I I probably engage too much. Yeah. <laughs> I get I get a little sassy. And, and, uh, and yeah. I replied. I said it was self inflicted and, and, pre- and preventable. You know what I mean? That, that was his call, not mine. And then she kept going. Boom. I was like, all right, I, I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna have a, a debate. You know, disengage. Yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> so tomorrow I'm gonna call and get the report and then contact his insurance company and figure out where they want me to go get it fixed and you know that type. I'd of look them up on um, like Missouri has CaseNet. You can look up people's, uh, see if they have other, like, cases against them and stuff. Yeah, once I get his name, I'll probably do a little research, just just out of curiosity. Probably just yeah, because uh, maybe... Um, not, uh, again, not happy that he got arrested, but right. happy we got he, a conclusion. You know it seems I mean? like, you know, he's going to work, somewhat responsible in that sense. Yeah, and he's so. an older guy. I mean, he was my age probably, maybe a little bit older. And yeah. I mean, he's not a dumb kid and not a troublemaker. It didn't look like, but again, I don't know. But the left side of his car looked like it wasn't the first time he sideswiped somebody. I'll just leave it at that. Mm, okay. I mean, from the front fender to the back, son. I mean, yeah, my hands, maybe they've been looking for him. Just straight up bump a car in it. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, it just yeah. sounds like he doesn't care. Doesn't respect other people's property. Yeah, and stuff. maybe it's not a big deal to him. Maybe he just can't drive. Maybe this guy just, you know, just legit. Maybe needs glasses. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what he does, or you know, I don't know anything about him. So it's all speculation at this point. But yeah, um, you never know. But yeah, so that's the. But what are the odds that you're going to catch? You know how many people? It must be half a million cars come through that light every day mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in a 24 hour period. <laughs> I mean, there are people that I see almost every day going to work, like, because I leave at the same time, I'm going to the same place, and if they're going to work, that kind of situation, but, I mean, if I were him, I'd start leaving a little earlier. It's it's the volume of people, I think, it's what yes. makes it hard to talk. Well, that's, I mean, just yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like, you know, just happened to catch that light, like, right and behind him. And be right him. behind him. It was incredible. It was, Seriously, I mean, what are the odds? Like, it, it was absolutely, and, dude, I remember that. When, when I was following him, <laughs> my adrenaline was so high because I was like, I don't know how to get away. But I, I felt yeah. like I was doing something wrong. You know what I mean? Like going yes. through lights and stuff like that. So it was just, it was a stressful environment. And my first patient, that's why I had to work yesterday. They had to tell him, say, yeah, he had a, a car. they just yeah. said he had got, a, he got into a car accident. They didn't go into detail with the guy. <laughs> so he was like, I go, look, she's like, you're going to have to call him back and reschedule. I'm like, yeah, I don't care. I'll, I'll reschedule. Yeah. Him. 
I'm so having sure the guy day of my life here. I go, hey, man, thanks for coming in. I just want to apologize. I know that was unprofessional, but this is what happened. He goes, I don't blame you, man. I would have done the same thing, you know, so. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have anything like that, hit and run, or your car's chewed up when you come outside, anything like that? You, you, you're not from no. Jersey, so that probably won't happen, but. Uh, uh, yeah, living in a smaller town, it's like you don't have as much going on. But when I lived in Virginia Beach, um, I got rear-ended once. It was somebody else's car. Like, I was driving somebody else's car, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, and the car wasn't, like, totaled or anything. And that, and the lady was like, I'm so sorry, I wasn't paying attention. And I'm like, mm, yeah. Um, and Obviously. then, uh, I mean, a rock hit my windshield. And this was like, I was in my early 20s and I started hyperventilating. I was like, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh my it's goodness. Loud. It sounds like a bullet hitting the windshield. Yeah. And then I saw the crack and I was like, oh my, like now it's like, well, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of getting rear ended, I, well, last Monday, the day before I saw the guy, I'm at work and I get a call from my wife and I kind of sent it to voicemail. And then she calls again. I'm like, what the, like, excuse me. So I, I go. Somebody, somebody just hit me from behind. So she got rear-ended. There was a, oh my a car goodness. in the intersection. She slowed down. One, two, boom. The lady hits her from behind. It's like, what's going on? Like, people need to pay attention. It's dangerous out here. You got to pay attention. There are so many, like, distractions now. She's she's okay. But, I mean, it just, her her bumper's all crunched up now. So, I mean, yeah. you're going to be like, what the hell's going on with this family, man? You know? Mm. And My friend... Dash cam. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah. You see her stop. You see the, the guy stop in front of her and then mm -hmm. her car come to a stall and then boom, she got hit. So, yeah. Slam dunk. Go get a yeah. dash cam. My friend uh, at work, she got a Tesla. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Nice. She took, us, she took us for a little ride and it's like, man, you just put it on like autopilot. It's crazy. Shh. I. I and and she said that like when you're stopped in park, you can watch movies on this big screen, <clears throat> and it has a frunk and a trunk. So you got a front trunk and a back trunk. Nice, I'm like man. Nice. And it's like the whole roof is a window, so you can see like that's I I'd say that's probably my favorite part besides like the big old screen that comes with it. I do like the panoramic roofs on, on, on certain SUVs and luxury yeah. cars and stuff like that. But this is this is like the the whole roof is just glass. Yeah. You, no opening, no closing. You don't have to worry about it. You just look up and you can see everything. I love That's that. That's awesome. Does it tint? It's tinted glass. It is right? tinted, yeah. That'd be kind of cool though. I wonder what it does in a rollover though. Probably shatter and go in your skull. Yeah, I don't like that part. <laughs> because it's glass. I mean, it's not see-through metal. I mean, that's not a thing yet, is it? Right. Um, <sighs> I don't. I don't think so. Well, Apple has. Do you remember those those picks? Like that looks like this. They used mm -hmm. to come with the phones, right? Yeah. Like to take out the SIM card and all that. Now they have yeah. e SIMs and all that. <clears throat> well, that material. I think they called it liquid metal. Or glass metal. It was some sort of hybrid huh. metal thing, and you know, <laughs> and so it was flexible and strong and light, and 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 they use it to make the chassis of the the phones, and they do different things with it. So they had they bought this <laughs> patent for this this liquid metal thing that Apple was using. So I don't know what else yeah. they're doing with it, except making paper clips. But there are. Um Things that you can put on windows and you push a button and it frosts it so you can't see. And then you push another button and it goes clear again. Okay. That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. And they also have the ones that turn dark in the sunlight and then lighten up in the dark. You know, yeah. like sunglasses and yeah. stuff like the progressive yeah. lenses and stuff like that. <clears throat> but that. That's pretty cool stuff, man. Excuse yeah, me. technology. You know? I um, Did I tell you about a... Uh, a battery tender for my bike. Do you know what that is? No. It's these wires you connect to your battery and then you plug it into this little box that you plug into the wall. And it monitors the battery and, and trickle charges it so it's always ready to go. So if it's sitting okay. for a long period of time in the wintertime in a cold garage or something like that, 
it doesn't die on you. So yeah, it's like twenty five bucks, and if it's gonna okay. keep, keep it charged and, and healthy, you know, it'll right, let it right. discharge. I mean, it's got a computer. I don't know how it works, but um, you got to have it if you're you know not riding it for a period of time. So I don't yeah. ride in the rain or when it's in the thirties. Um, but yeah, I did no ride thanks. it the other day and it was freezing. Yeah, I'm not, no. <laughs> I'm uh, like I keep thinking like it would be cool to have one. Uh, but I drive like interstate most of my, both of my drives to both how, offices. How fast to drive is that? Well, I have it set on 77 cruise on okay. 77. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could do it on this thing, but it you would be freezing your tail off, you know what I mean? Yeah, I would just yeah. But, you know, if I had to scoot into town, like yesterday, I went and um, I had some jewelry looked at. I got to get something fixed. And I went by the coffee shop there. And then I scooted up to the next town up, which is about 20 minutes away. Sure. Went, got some groceries. John made lasagna last night. Hello. But. We had pasta, too. Yeah. So, I mean, if I I did that, uh, I could do the scooter for that, but yeah, I commute. It's like a twenty-five minute drive, so it's it's not bad and uh, it's fun. I can take back roads. I got ten different ways to get there. You right? Know what I mean? so, yeah, yeah. Um, but you got to be careful for the idiots and people, you know, hitting and run, and you know. So I try to stay off the main super fast yes. highways. You know? Yes, I agree. Uh, at peak times, that's what I try to do. Right. But anyway, so you guys are good. Oh, and I'm getting that drone. For X-Men. are you the one that you were talking about? Yeah. Mm, that'll be fancy. Yeah, yeah, be fun. So we'll put some. We need to do a, shoot a new video intro and use podcast. that. Yeah, and it's sort of like there's one where you're standing there and it, it's it's uh, goes around you, mm-hmm. and then or it, the one where it comes up and it's like hovering and then it just zzz, and just shoots away. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I think that'd be kind of cool. We just like the parking lot, you know? That's awesome. Yeah. We, we gotta do. We gotta do some good. You good, should. Good you stuff. should come to my house because we're on top of a hill, so it could like shoot out, and you'd have like all this like yeah. land in the background and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We gotta do so. that sometime for for real though. Let's yeah, do it in like forever. Spring, but. summer, barbecue. Do some intros for season uh, seven when it gets there. Yeah, I, I think it it would be more. Um, Damn, I wish we had a, a, a neutral place where we could just just meet and just do the. You know what I mean? I think that we mm-hmm. have guests come in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of virtual. That would be cool. Like the Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah. One day, maybe one day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. That sounds like fun. All right, All right buddy. Well, you good? Yeah, I got to get ready to go to uh, see uh, Hunger Games. Oh yeah. Pack a lunch, dude. <laughs> have some some. Like tater tots in my pocket what, or something. Uh, what's a movie cost nowadays? Like twenty bucks. Uh, for bucks? me and my friend, it was twenty eight dollars. It's not too bad, I guess. And if you get something to eat, yes. that's another twenty dollars each. You know. Yeah, I I suggested Olive Garden, but I I need to check to see if she replied. So. Gotcha. I um. We'll see. I'll say this: I took my brother to go see um. Was it Top Gun? I think it was Top Gun. Yeah. Something this summer. Yeah. Was it Top Gun? I don't know. We went to go see, oh, Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. Yeah. When I was in uh, Jersey in July, right? Yeah. I was like, dude, come on. He's like, nah, I don't really care. I'm like, bro, I'm treating. Let's go. Snacks, the whole shebang. Let's go. It was like $90, dude. Like 95 yeah. bucks for the two of us. And I'm like, whatever. But, you know, you don't do that. I don't do that every weekend. And, um, but yeah, it's it's got ridiculous. I used to go all the time. I, it's just not fun anymore. I don't know. It's just yeah, it's hard to sit down for a long period of time. You know, unless I'm at a theater. Mm. You know. Anyway, we have the nice note. seats where you can recline, like kick back and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's that's helpful. And some of them have heat, which is cool. But uh, yeah, heat too. Yeah. Damn. Where are you yeah. going, buddy? The know, dollars? Right? No, it's not the dollar theater. <laughs> Blue Remember Blue having, theater. did you have a dollar theater around where yeah. you were? There was one near us, and we used to go there all the time with the kids. And it was like the real. older movies that were in the theater yeah. like a month ago or something. But yeah, yeah. I'll wait. Like, I'll wait. 
you catch them in November, December, the ones that were hits in the summertime, you know, yeah. and they're still yeah. playing. Yeah, no, dude. I, and we used to catch them like multiple times because it was easy and cheap. And yep. the seats are small and uncomfortable and, you know what I mean, a little rinky dink. But yeah. hey, man. Yeah. It, and it got a little riff raffy so they shut it they shut the whole thing down yeah but, all yeah. the ones that i know of are shut down now so yeah. what happens. sucks but what happens. anyway all right well listen have fun <laughs> enjoy the movie uh i want to hear yeah. a, a review of the of the movie all right next time we i can do that you guys uh go check out the hunger games and uh yeah. be safe out there get a dash cam get a dash cam yep dash cam. episode two one three two one three two two one three there you go. <laughs> You're welcome. There you go. All right, guys. Take care. Go floss yourselves. Go floss yourselves. Boom. <laughs> Later.